So, mm -hmm. beautiful. So, um, so we awaken. Yes, yes, we are on. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So, uh, hello, lovely people. I'm uh, Michal Kali Griggs. And I'm Trisha from Light of Lemuria, Trisha Kral. We're giving here the workshop on beautiful uh, Payota land, uh, the beautiful community in Lithuania, in uh, nature, beautiful nature. So um, today we will speak uh, about uh, the Yoni massage. So uh, we will. Uh, guide you through some of the aspects is before our workshop uh, live in practice so um, we have uh, all students here uh, listening to us and uh, yes uh, we share that with you with the world uh, this wisdom we think uh, we need uh, to share that wisdom as wide as possible so we are happy that you can watch us and uh, get uh, that uh, wisdom to humanity to womanhood uh, to manhood uh. so um, uh, we will speak uh, about uh, a few parts uh, so at the beginning we will introduce you to the uh, yoni anatomy uh, tantric yoni anatomy uh, then um, we will uh, uh, tell you about uh, different points uh, separately and uh, while we will speak about those points we will mention already about the healing and so so then we will talk about the healing uh, of yoni in general and uh, then we will guide you uh, into how to do the yoni massage step by step uh, uh, so um, that's the plan uh, later on we will have uh, questions and answers uh, moments uh, so that's 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 it so yes um, I guess I guess why why do a yoni massage yeah yoni massage is here to actually not only for women but to teach men how to treat the goddess or how to understand her anatomy and and it's not just um sticking it in doing your business and off you go it's it's understanding that it's it's a a magical portal you know you're it creates life and and um, this yoni massage understands you to be able to help her um, go into parts of herself and um, so she can trust your energy yeah and she can um, slowly start to heal um, her trust with men and her trust with women and um, but it also is the yoni massage is not only for a partner it's also can be for self-pleasure yeah or love making for yourself to understand your own anatomy which is so so important these days for women to understand their own um pleasure center yeah so yes let's start from mm -hmm. uh, the yoni anatomy we will speak about all those things uh, on the way so uh, we have two pictures uh, what we going to use uh, so let me explain this one uh, so uh, if uh, uh, that would be the Trisha Sioni it's much bigger than uh, in the reality so uh, here is the, the anus here is uh, the clitoris under the hood yes here is the urinary hole uh, here is uh, are the inner lips a beautiful flower of the inner lips and here is the entrance uh, of the yoni uh, and here are the outer lips uh, 
um, the flesh, uh, what is uh, uh, naturally covered uh, with the hair. So that's that's uh, one drawing. What we're gonna use to explain you the, uh, especially the part how to do the yoni massage and uh, also yoni anatomy. And then we have the drawing here. So um, yes, uh, it's my uh, artistic expression. Uh, I'm not <laughs> a um, professional artist, but I see like you can maybe understand the drawing. So this is cut through. So uh, here is uh, the anus, here is the perineum muscle, uh, here is the entrance of the yoni and the inside of the yoni, uh, here is the urinary hole, and here is the clitoris, and here is the belly. So um, yes, um, so different points, uh, the clitoris, uh, the O point, uh, the G spot, the M point, E point, A point. Yes. So um, um, location, the uh, clitoris is uh, yes. How is on the drawing? Yes, it's uh, this beautiful pair. We will speak about it. Uh, uh, about each point separately. Now we just speak about more or less location. So uh, uh, then we have the uh, G spot. Uh, so G spot, uh, uh, yeah, is it uh, visible? Uh, it's not. I didn't take it. Okay. So yes, maybe that's better. Okay, so uh, the G spot it's uh, two centimeters uh, behind the entrance, uh, more or less. Uh, it's like uh, maybe one uh, knuckle of the finger. Uh, if uh, the on the belly side. So if the woman will uh, uh, sit uh, in front of me, if I curve my fingers towards myself then uh, I can uh, feel the G-spot. And G-spot is uh, easy to locate because it uh, has different surface than the Yoni itself. Yoni itself in most of the parts besides of the uh, G-spot and uh, end point have like smooth, uh, fleshy, uh, slimy surface and uh, uh, the G spot uh, and the M point, uh, the surface is a little bit different. So G spot surface is. Uh, uh, it's ridged. It's 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 got the ridges in it. it it's a little bit, um, yeah, like Michal said. It's not um, you'll you'll hit um, like a few little ridges, and that's around in there is the G spot, and then just a few centimeters above. Then you go into the smoother area of the um, the tissue. Yeah. yeah. So yes, it may feel like a nut. It may feel uh, uh, like a button. It may feel like uh, a sponge. Uh, it may feel like a wound. Mm -hmm. It feels differentiate different than the uh, other part of the yoni, and, and yeah. it's close to the entrance. So yes, if you see some different. Uh, surface in the yoni and it's close to the entrance then it means the g-spot other um, different surface uh, it's very deep it's end point mm -hmm. so uh, yes that's how you differentiate them both uh, but also they uh, and, and every uh, like every woman's anatomy is different so it's not like when you're hitting the cervix it's not straight up and you're going to get it some cervix um, orgasmic spots might be just slightly to the right or slightly to the left, the G-spot. Um, so it's always about um, exploration and um, feeling around because you'll know, you'll know within yourself if you're self-exploring or if you, you'll know when you're with your partner um, by her face expressions and, and her movement and her sound. Yeah. 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 So uh, yes, uh, 
So then uh, the location of the endpoint, yes, uh, it's uh, very deep. Uh, and as you can see a little bit on the uh, drawing that it's uh, uh, kind of going back uh, towards the entrance. Uh, so it's very deep and uh, you may feel it uh, as um, the ring, uh, if uh, you, you can compare it with the ring on the fist when you make the fist. Uh, and you uh, massage this uh, circle inside that's how it feels and yes it uh, when it's uh, open and unblocked uh, that uh, it's softer and uh, open and you can even uh, put the finger in but you n please never do that um, when it's uh, uh, blocked it's uh, harder and it's uh, closed and um, this uh, closeness and openness also va uh, variate from the menstrual cycle yes so um, that's the cervix uh, the uh, m uh, uh, is called from the sound of pleasure like mm, what the woman uh, used to sa uh, sound when uh, she uh, may uh, feel that orgasm. So when when you're going into the yoni, I always say that um, it's a musical instrument, a sacred musical instrument, and every single spot you've got your your A spot, your G spot, your U spot your C spot, the cervix, yeah? And each note, each time that these um, points get activated, um, when the woman orgasms, her sound is different. Each and every sound is different. And you'll notice, and I always teach, when you hit the cervix, the cervix is the, the mother of all orgasms, yeah? And when you hit the cervix, it's that deep, because oh, it's so earthy and so grounding and so connected to the feminine. But this, the, the clitoris is more of a higher pitch and a, a higher, but the cervix is more of a deeper. So it, it's, it's a musical instrument. It's, it's yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So... Let's go back to the location. So yes, uh, the, there are other points uh, like U point. It's uh, between the clitoris and the urinary hole. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, when you massage clitoris, you may uh, also massage the U point. And uh, together uh, with a stimulated G spot, it can give uh, the female ejaculation. We'll speak about it in details later. And then you have uh, two other points, the A point and the E point. Both you recognize by the woman's reactions on them. So you cannot really recognize them by surface. Uh, uh, the surface is the same like uh, all yoni so um, you have to recognize it uh, when the woman uh, feels uh, very excited in those points that's uh, the point uh, or uh, if she feel uh, some triggers uh, some uh, pain uh, over exaggerated pain that means this point uh, needs to be healed and then later on they will transform Mm. into the very ecstatic points yes but you you can't get to these points at all without giving her stimulation giving her pleasure um starting with the outside first you cannot get to the holy grail until these are activated until she's ready to open her gates yeah and when she's ready to open her gates that's when these will start to activate 
So a lot of, um, that's why we go into Yoni Massage, is to get her ready, to relax her, to build up the trust, to be able to open those gates only when she's ready, yeah? A woman has the power in her sexual sexuality to say yes or no when she's ready, yeah? Because when she's ready, whew, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. So, the A point, it's uh, located very deep behind the G spot. So, it's uh, on, almost on the bottom uh, of the yoni, uh, on the belly side. So, again, if uh, the woman is facing me and uh, I curve my fingers uh, towards her belly, towards myself, then uh, very deeply I may find the A point. And uh, the E point is on the opposite side. So I will have to turn my fingers uh, that I can curve them direction uh, uh, the back. And uh, yes, uh, on, very deeply I can find the E spot. And ladies, if you're listening and you're single, or even if you're with a partner, it doesn't matter, um, self-exploration, yoni wands, yoni wands, because it's hard to get your fingers up quite deep and there's a certain position you'll have to position yourself in. So yoni wands will get you up and, and it's all about exploring, like taking a whole half hour out of your time and being sensual with yourself and exploring these spots. Yeah, it is so, so worth it. Yeah. So yes, so that's about the location of the points, yes. So uh, it's the main points, uh, the women have uh, also different other orgasmic points like uh, um, what are uh, less used, but uh, they're used like uh, the Pyreneum, um, the Nipples. nipples uh, and others, yes. Ears, so. throat, there are erogenic zones throat also. Orgasm. You literally can have, once you start to understand your own anatomy and start to um, um, know what to do with this sexual energy, you can actually um, put that sexual energy in any part of your body and have a hand orgasm, a wherever it may go, or a full body orgasm. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. we guide sometimes uh, to plant your orgasm somewhere and uh, uh, yes, uh, activate uh, any part of your body. Uh, you mm. can have full body orgasm, uh, so mm. yes, that's uh, also beautiful. Mm. So yes, uh, this is uh, about the anatomy. Now we will uh, talk about uh, all points uh, pa uh, apart. Uh, each of them more explaining you about in details. So we start um, with the clitoris. So uh, the clitoris is this little pearl uh, under the hood uh, uh, here on this drawing. Uh, yes. Uh, so on uh, that drawing here. Yes. And um, yes, one most important thing about the clitoris is uh, to say relating to the massage is that um, it's uh, the most sensitive uh, place in the human body. So um, um, on this little pearl, um, 400,000 nerves uh, are ending. And uh, f to compare for the man, uh, on the head of the lingam, there uh, is uh, half of uh, that amount. And each man knows uh, how sensitive is head of the lingam. So uh, this is to point it out for you uh, that you have to be always very gentle, very delicate, especially um, at the beginning, uh, especially you don't know maybe that yoni and that clitoris reactions. So um, uh, after uh, a while, when the woman is uh, already uh, aroused, uh, some of the women, they really prefer the rough uh, touching, more harder stimulations. Uh, but this, um, you 
have to uh, maybe slowly build up uh, and uh, discover it. So, yes. So, uh, um, yes. Uh, and, and, and the first thing too, we don't want her to orgasm too with the clitoris. Yes. So key point. <laughs> yes. So so yes, definitely. Yeah. So we uh, in during uh, this uh, lecture also, uh, especially at the part when uh, we're gonna. Uh, teach you how to do the yoni massage step by step uh, you will see that we use a lot of uh, clitoral stimulation uh, but we avoid the peak orgasm so we don't go to the point of no return uh, so here we have drawing we all the time use it don't lose it method yes so uh, this is more the female one so the woman before the point of no return, she raised the palm and uh, she guide the man to slow down with the stimulation of the clitoris. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, that's also the time. And, and why we do that too is because if we're, if we're, and we talk about this in, in all our longer workshops, but the reason why we do this is because we don't want her to have a clitoris orgasm because we want her to, understand and feel the other orgasmic spots and to to enjoy not just the clitoris the clitoris is just the on button yeah it's just a uh, the battery for her sexuality yeah we just want to get those we want to activate it so she can feel the pleasure of these other spots and and be able to go to a full potential in her sexuality yeah Mm. Yes, so uh, uh, for most uh, of the points to activate what you mentioned before, to uh, be filled, the woman needs to be on high arousal for a long time. And the clitoris is uh, one of the most uh, efficient way to uh, arouse her in very quick way. Uh, it's uh, the one point what uh, really um, awakened the sexual energy in the most fast and uh, efficient way. So that's why we use uh, the clitoral stimulation. We use uh, the sexual energy. We use the excitement. When she feels excitement, it, it, it activates the other points. And second, it helps you with the healing, with the going through the physical pain, emotional release. We'll speak about it uh, a bit later. So, yes, um, always uh, uh, remember this. Also, also too, if um, you are a woman who can't um, have a clitoris orgasm, which a lot of women cannot, so I would stay in that spot a little bit longer to be able to really stimulate um, these parts. If you if you cannot have a clitoris orgasm, then I would suggest that you play with this area first, and um, and then start to go into the other areas. It's it's really important. Don't don't go straight into I want to have a cervical orgasm when you can't first have a clitoris orgasm. Yeah, you want to sort of build that up and um, and gradually. Um, get to that um, the mother of all orgasms yeah. so yes it's very important to notice that 20% uh, of the female population uh, that uh, means uh, every uh, fifth uh, woman uh, uh, very rarely or almost never uh, experience any orgasm so clitoral mm -hmm. orgasm included and, and I want to say <laughs> that you all can, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe 1% if you have health problems or you're, you've been, um, your clitoris has been cut off or something like that. But every woman can. And I want to say to you, it's up to you women to be able to have your own orgasms. And the way to do that is to get out of the head and to drop in to embodiment, to drop into the heart. Our, our hearts is what activates our sexuality in women. 
we if our hearts aren't open and they're not it's not into it and i'm talking about when a woman is fully in her feminine not just in her immaturity when she really can drop into that heart space and she really drops into her sexuality yeah mm. so yes um we do exceptions uh, for the if you are one of those women uh, who very rarely experience the orgasm mm -hmm. uh, go first uh, to the clitoral orgasm uh, experience learn how to um, have it easily uh, with your partner with yourself however mm -hmm. you like it or have circumstances and uh, when you learn and uh, when you have easiness to experience it um, then um, yes don't stay in uh, the kindergarten uh, where the most of the people stay on this uh, level they never experience uh, the g-spot and other orgasm uh, every woman have also capacity to experience other types of orgasm so yes uh, and with those you go to straight to the university of the orgasm yeah. so yes uh, and everyone can uh, achieve this and i want to say to you too um don't rely on anyone to get you there either you you need to know your own anatomy right you need to know your own anatomy and um never rely on someone else for your own pleasures it starts with you you can have the best guru, the best lover, the most sexiest man in front of you or, or woman, but they can only take you so far. You need to explore your own body. And when you start to activate your own energies and know what to do with them, then phew, magic happens, yeah? You tap into your absolute divine feminine. Yeah. So, yes. Um Another thing about the clitoris is uh, that uh, this little pearl, what we are talking about, is not only the full part of the clitoris. Actually, it's very little part of the clitoris. Now on internet, you can see this uh, drawing, the, even the sculptures uh, um, showing that uh, the clitoris is much bigger. So this little pearl is only this part and uh, the uh, other parts uh, goes under the flesh and they spread like a fork uh, between the inner lips and the outer lips so um, during the that's why the strokes between the inner lips and the outer lips can give the woman very nice uh, new way of feeling ecstasy so um, Yes, uh, we're gonna also learn this and practice it. So, yes, uh, that's about the clitoris, yes? So then, uh, another uh, very famous uh, spot uh, is the G-spot. Uh, so, um, yes, as uh, we said, uh, very often there is big confusion uh, and even some uh, I would say fake uh, in this, uh, exams scientific, where uh, yeah. scientific proofs this uh, proof that it exists and so and uh, it uh, very often women feel like hey I don't have it what's wrong with me or I don't believe it uh, it's uh, to do that yes very often women need uh, to be 20 minutes or 30 minutes uh, on high arousal to start to have that point activated if it is healed yes if it's not healed then she needs to be healed first go through the release of the emotions going through the physical pain what we would uh, guide you into uh, during the yoni massage what what happens in in um, a woman's anatomy when she is fully, when she's not aroused and she keeps stimulating that area, it can become sore and, and, and painful. 
What happens is when we really are aroused in our um, yonis is that it starts to swell and open up. And what happens is there's three major nerves that run into the yoni. And what happens is the blood um, starts to swell and starts to open the yoni, but then those nerves, those three major nerves, start to become more exposed. And so the nerve endings, the nerves, that's when you start to are able to start to feel deeply into your yoni. So it's so important, like Michal was saying, that that 20 minutes or that self-exploration or the yoni massage, it's so important to really be aroused because that's when the magic happens. That's when those nerves come out and that's when you start to go into orgasmic pleasures, yeah? Not pain, yeah. And that uh, relates to any other points. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, also when it's activated, uh, you know, like it's like a new neurotic path is uh, built between uh, the brain and the yoni. And uh, every time when you pass this path, it's easy to uh, reach that uh, state. Mm -hmm. So uh, after a time, you know, like it's uh, uh, the woman may need just a uh, few minutes. Uh, or, they, they call mm -hmm. it muscle memory. Yes. So, yes. The G-spot is... Uh, <laughs> the most uh, healing point uh, in the uh, human body uh, or healing the, uh, especially the uh, things were related to sexuality uh, to the uh, s past sexual traumas uh, uh, to uh, any kind of uh, abuses to any kind of uh, not feeling good sometimes uh, the um, heartbroken relationships uh, uh, sometimes uh, not feeling good about your body. Um, so yes, uh, all those things uh, related to the G. The G spot, just like muscles, when we work them out or we've got knots, um, it's built up tension. Yeah, and for a woman, she holds all her tension, all her stress, everything she holds in her womb, her yoni. So. The G spot is the emotion of the yoni. It's the emotion spot. So when you activate the G spot, you'll notice um, a lot of the times, I know I do, is like when I really go into my G spot, I'm like tears, tears of joys, tears of, ah. Uh, you know, we know this with our wombs and our yoni because as we menstruate, you know, we, we build up that last month of all the shit that happened to us, everything that does not serve us anymore, and then we release it out through our blood. Same as our spots as well, our orgasmic spots. They hold those those tension parts. So it's yeah, it's it will release and um, yeah. Okay. Yes. So. Um About uh, the healing, the G-spot, we will speak quite a lot. Um, so uh, we will tell you how to do it uh, at the uh, part um, of uh, practical uh, at the end. Uh, so um, for the woman to experience the G-spot uh, healing and then uh, it transform into ecstasy. So you may get straight uh, on uh, one session, uh, the transformation from the deep pain, release of the emotions, and then uh, followed by uh, one of the best orgasm, uh, energizing orgasm uh, you can have. And maybe not one, but few, uh, because you don't lose uh, the energy through any other orgasm of those points. Uh, they are tantric orgasms, uh, so you don't have to um, be afraid that you will lose the energy. You may be very energized afterwards. 
So the G the G spot will always come in waves. It will always come in waves as as you keep pressing that G spot. It will always yeah come in waves. It's uh, naturally you know uh, without need for the use it don't lose it method. Uh, with all other orgasm when they are activated, uh, we just grow, grow, it go f further and further and further, and you don't lose the energy. So sometimes people uh, feel like, oh, I, I felt the best ecstasy in my life. Uh, I never uh, uh, felt that before, and uh, um, I was like whoa uh, better than any drugs and so uh, and uh, best uh, experience in my life and they wonder sometimes like ah, but i didn't have orgasm because uh, you think that the orgasm uh, is uh, always when you uh, lose the energy and you feel like okay that's the end uh, he's, he's talking yeah. about clitoris orgasm when we have a yeah. clitoris orgasm it's like it's, and it's like oh, really really fast and it and it and it peaks really fast, like oh, oh like a sneeze, and it's over like that. The so, G spot orgasm is is like a wave, so it, it it doesn't peak, so you're not like oh oh. It and and a lot of women get confused about. Um, I don't think I can orgasm because I'm I'm, yeah I'm in pleasure mode, but I'm not. Um, I don't get that peak, and this is it. The G spot it is pleasurable and and the more you sit into that g-spot orgasm the more the wave will take you and that's when you become multiple orgasmic yeah, yeah. yes mm. so yes the healing of the g-spot the some of the women uh, express in a very very beautiful way uh, they said that uh, it's um, not only uh, leaving the cage of all the bars, all the things what were mm -hmm. holding you back from experiencing fully sexuality, fully uh, love. Uh, uh, so all the prejudices towards men, towards penetration, towards uh, the love making, um, uh, it went uh, away. Uh, so you not only got free from this cage, but then they got uh, the wings of passion, what they can fly uh, with uh, full of ecstasy as uh, high as uh, the, they want. Uh, and the sky is now the limit. Uh, so, so it's one of the best mm -hmm. uh, day uh, in their life sometimes uh, because uh, they just release all the luggage and they got uh, this uh, extra ecstasy. What it's never ending it's ending yeah. when you feel like oh my god i cannot take it anymore it's like it's so good i feel so women why now. would we not want that you know why would we not want our i always say this to every single woman that i come across we are pleasure centers yeah and um we have so many orgasmic spots why would we not want to have wings like that yeah so so beautiful <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, um, we will mm -hmm. speak about the G-spot, how to heal it, uh, how to uh, stimulate it, everything later. But now, uh, okay, about the U-point and the G-spot. So, uh, both stimulated together, they give female ejaculation. And uh, female ejaculation have uh, common with the men ejaculation only word. Yes, the men ejaculation is uh, the peak orgasm. You lose the energy. Uh, the female ejaculation uh, it's uh, the G spot orgasm, and it's uh, you can have few of them. Uh, one after another, you don't when uh, the G spot is healed. Uh, you don't lose the energy, uh, it's energizing experience, it's beautiful. It's, it's what we call um, amurita, yeah? It's um, being able to squirt um, through the glands. And when the G-spot is, is stimulated um, and 
there's certain techniques you can use that we'll, we'll teach later on um, that you can actually squirt and um, or call it a gushing goddess, yeah? And where she'll be able to um, push that out, like Michal said, you don't lose the energy that the Amarita, that medicine, is, um, is potent. And it actually is combined with, um, oh, it's from the skein gland, but it, it's, um, and the woman has a prostate too, believe it or not, she has a room prostate. There's prostate um, juices in there, there is urine, there is, um, and then the medicine, the Amarita. Um, so explore um, the gushing goddess, explore the, um, the squirting. Yeah. So uh, about this, we also going to talk about um, later. One thing what I want to mention because it's very important and essential. The woman very often hold back uh, from uh, experiencing uh, the uh, female ejaculation from uh, I would say a little bit silly unaware reason mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to pee sometimes it may happen that uh, you may have uh, the uh, female ejaculation especially if you already have tantric man who last longer than seven minutes uh, then um, yes uh, these points can be activated during the love making and um, the woman uh, yes in, in some moment feel that she wants to pee when you are on a high arousal, it's physically not really possible that you would like or suddenly want to pee. Yes. So um, it, uh, if it happens like suddenly that you want to pee and you are in the full ecstasy, it means that the ejaculation is uh, knocking to the door and it's best for you. Uh, believe me, even if you wet the sheet and you will have to clean after, uh, uh, you will uh, bless this moment uh, that mm -hmm. you allow it yourself. Push it out as you would do with normal pee, like let it out. And uh, it could be one of the best experiences you ever had. I know when, um, when I was first sexually active and it happened to me and it would happen to me. And I, I was so embarrassed because I thought I was peeing. I was peeing on my man like all the time and I was trying not to stop or I wouldn't go into that position because I knew I would pee and I never knew that way back when I was what 16 I was squirting you know so it it's um it's nothing to be ashamed of it's actually quite beautiful it's um but it's not it's not quite orgasmic either it, it's orgasmic but not like the other orgasms um it's releasing it's a, it's a releasing feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's uh, especially when the G spot still needs healing. It's uh, also connected with the release of the emotions. So, yes, intention of the um, uh, yoni massage is actually to have uh, as many of uh, the uh, ejaculation as uh, it uh, can be, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yes, uh, they are healing. Yes, if they are healed, that you have just pleasure with it. Uh, so yes, go for it. Um, always go for it. If you feel that you may expect it to happen, like today maybe, and you feel like, okay, then put some extra towel to make it uh, for you more comfortable. And um, Grab extra towels anyway. <laughs> yes. Uh, just in case. <laughs> so, yes. Um, we will speak... Uh, later about it uh, more and then uh, uh, another point uh, the end point um, so yes uh, about the end point uh, the cervix? cervix yes i think uh, trisha likes to speak about it a lot uh, but what i can say uh, it's um, um, sometimes uh, the women have uh, difficulties uh, to uh, concept the baby and maybe uh, you know some couple uh, they try very hard uh, uh, and uh, it's not happening uh, very often the uh, professional good uh, yoni massage uh, to open uh, the to heal the cervix to unblock the cervix uh, it may help 
with this. Yes. So and yes, uh, it's uh, the cervix is is like I said the the mother of all orgasms. It's it's one that will liberate a woman completely, and. Um, I, I love talking about the cervix. I, I do many workshops on just the cervix alone. And um, a woman, when she opens her cervix, um, she can do this not even by, um, by stimulation. Her cervix, when she's giving birth, she opens, that cervix opens, yeah. And it's such a... Uh, orgasmic spot it's such an orgasmic spot um, I don't know where to start where to where to there's so much to say about there's a whole week worth so of yes um, <laughs> um, Next yeah yes yeah. Um, so so um, yes way. just few uh, little things about uh, to encourage you to stay with us till the end yeah, about the practice so the g-spot you stimulate with the fire energy with the twice um, per second strokes uh, with the so-called calm movement uh, and uh, the end point you uh, stimulate by hammering movement uh, it's like also twice per second again fiery energy and that's also like the reason why sometimes uh, woman wants uh, like yes fuck me harder fuck me deeper uh, because uh, uh, they la love their end point to be stimulated but it, with the with the end point or the cervix yeah we, we've got to remember that because mm -hmm. there's different names some some people say um the e spot is the p spot yeah um same same but different but the cervix can't be reached until she is completely fully stimulated. And, and this comes down to the woman really actually stimulating her own cervix and opening that up. And a woman's not going to be able to orgasm if she doesn't trust um, the process. Yeah, she doesn't open up to that trust. And um, the cervix really needs softness. It needs softness from the woman. The cervix is the heart chakra of the yoni, yeah? So it needs love. It needs to open. And um, to do this, a woman can't have a cervical orgasm if she's in her mind. Yeah, she cannot. She has to drop into that heart to really go into a cervical orgasm. So it means, <coughs> ladies, surrender. It means surrender. And, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, trust and surrender, find the partner, circumstances. And, uh, or yourself. Yes, yourself, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, yes, um, yeah, um, the G-spot is uh, relating to the heart chakra, uh, to the emotions, to the end point, relate to the crown chakra. Uh, and... Uh, Yes, uh, of course, it's uh, the heart of the young, uh, as you said. Uh, so uh, then uh, another point, the A point, uh, it's uh, the very deep behind uh, the G spot. And um, yes, it's uh, another ecstatic point would have different orgasm than any other orgasms. Uh, it has its own qualities uh, and uh, again like if it needs healing it will be with over exaggerated pain uh, with um, uh, maybe feeling some release of the emotions follow it or uh, straight uh, um, when you touch it if uh, it's uh, activated uh, then Especially when it's activated, uh, maybe you need again 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes of high arousal uh, to activate it. Uh, but when it's activated, it's uh, like pure, beautiful, ecstasy. And so, uh, some of the points you can have activated already, and uh, you just uh, can go into them and actually um, 
um, when um, uh, yeah you, you the woman is maybe too edgy on the clitoral it's uh, too easy to get into the uh, losing the energy uh, so you may use actually the other points if they are already uh, creating the ecstasy uh, for the same purpose to give the woman ecstasy and when you heal another point yes this ecstasy a small ecstasy you have then it's easy for the woman to go through the pain to uh, go through the release and hard uh, uh, time with uh, another point uh, of what needs to be healed another an, another point um too um that women feel a lot of pain too is the entrance or the u spot and i always say that the u spot here is because too many times women have been forced a forced penetration yeah forced um they've had sex when they've they didn't want to um maybe um not on their not at their free will either um, so it's really about honoring that part going in and honoring the goddess yeah honoring every part with absolute love if you're doing it by yourself or you're doing it with a partner with absolute love in your fingertips and and because that's what's going to heal her and open her up to trust yeah so yes one of the most important thing what you have to learn uh, during this uh, yoni massage uh, theory is uh, that uh, you never never force push your fingers uh, into the yoni what is not open not ready not uh, fully lubricated uh, not uh, uh, inviting you uh, so uh, uh, that's why we do the yoni massage to open her up to uh, build the trust uh, to uh, rebuild the trust uh, and to uh, make this connection uh, to happen and you'll know you'll know you know within yourself when she when she's ready or the partner because the body's intelligent is so freaking amazing because when she is completely ready she will actually start to suck it in. She'll suck the penis in, the finger in, or the wand or the yoni egg, whatever it is. So she she will know when it is ready. Yeah. Yes, uh, and um, also we will uh, learn um, and about it uh, on the practical parts. Yes. And so uh, w one of the most important thing uh, for the man to learn is uh, to uh, not to stick the fingers during the yoni massage, but in the future stick the lingam uh, to the yoni when she is not ready. So this golden advice, what uh, we told you before, at the use it, don't lose it method, give always the woman enough foreplay. Let her decide about um, when the foreplay should turn into the penetration. Mm -hmm. And that would be already the beautiful healing um, for her. Mm -hmm. So, so. And ladies, it's important for you too to, to say when you're ready too. It is so important to say, hey, I'm not ready. Give me more stimulation. Give me this, give me that. It is so important. Take back your power in your, your queendom, yeah? Um, so, so important yeah. and uh, yes uh, of course man and the woman will uh, highly benefit from it yeah. so uh, yes um, the uh, e point uh, yes uh, the same like uh, it's uh, very deep uh, on the back side uh, and uh, uh, yes uh, it's another ecstatic point uh, mm -hmm what could be recognized not by the surface but by the reactions of the woman uh, this point is uh, connected to um, very often to feeling fear emotion uh, so yeah if the woman needs to release some fear uh, 
issues that she may feel that uh, and it's actually connected to the nerve endings too of the anus so yes women you can have anus orgasms as well um, but the E spot or P spot is connected not only to the anus nerve endings but the, also the vagina as well the yoni so um, it's a very deep deep orgasm mm. so okay that's that's about the points uh, so now we would go uh, into yes the how to do it the uh, yoni massage so we will mainly use this uh, drawing so um, Yes, step by step. Um, so as in neo-tantric massage, uh, what uh, the yoni part uh, and the lingam part is uh, part of it, um, we start uh, from the more outside parts to the more inside parts uh, in general, and then uh, from uh, less exciting parts to more exciting parts. Uh, in general so yes uh, as we massage the full body before yes in uh, neotantric massage to make the woman prepared uh, to for the yoni massage to open her all channels and let the energy flow uh, then uh, also with the yoni we start from the outside to build the trust to um, um, prepare her to uh, make the energy flow so yes uh, so uh, yes we will start with the uh, yes if you can hold it uh, yes so so um, we will start uh, with uh, massaging the groins uh, so uh, the groins uh, is the part between your legs and uh, the genitals uh, and um, yes it's uh, this line what i call it uh, underwear line when you have uh, your underwear it's just uh, on the border of your underwear so you uh, massage this uh, line uh, up and down with uh, uh, sliding uh, movements always uh, remember that there is enough uh, coconut oil also before uh, the yoni massage we will have beautiful prayer uh, so um, you slide up and down and uh, then I guide you uh, we would uh, with our thumbs uh, pressing hardly and circulating from the bottom from the uh, perineum level uh, we would uh, uh, circulate with our thumbs pressing the sitting bones so feel the do it harder rather yeah if something would be too hard the woman always can raise the palm to show it so and then you go one centimeter up and you continue like this yes you stay in one spot you circulate and then again one centimeter up and then up 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 to the level of the tendon you so yes, uh, you have the tendon, uh, uh, you can feel it, it's not a bone, but it's uh, like tendon, it, it feels like a bone. So when you reach this tendon, you start again from the bottom. Most of the strokes uh, have the same kind of tendency, that they start from the bottom, they finish at the top, and then you uh, again continue from the bottom. So. Yes, uh, when you reach this tendon, you start again from the bottom and you do this circular movements. In the same time, uh, with your three, four other fingers, you massage the pubic bone, um, what is above uh, the hairline, what, uh, yes, just above the yoni, yes? And by some women, you may even hook on this uh, pubic bone. So yes, you just massage that. Yes, and um, then we will start massaging the outer lips. Outer lips is the flesh uh, on the side of the yoni. So this hairy flesh. Uh, uh, so uh, at 
first we will uh, close the yoni so we squeeze the Yes. So well, you squeeze the yoni at the bottom, and between your three fingers, uh, you circulate the outer lips and everything between. And then, after a while, I guide you okay, go one centimeter up, and you continue the same. You squeeze, you outer lips together and the flesh together and um, you circulate like that and then again one centimeter up till you reach the and you continue like this till you reach uh, the level of clitoris and then you start again from the bottom and then we will when i guide you uh, we will open up the outer lips. So with the two fingers, the pointing finger and the thumb, you grab the flesh and you circulate um, between your fingers that flesh and in the same time you open it up. You spread it apart. And then again, you go one centimeter up and you do the same, circulating and massaging the outer lips and spreading them apart. And in that way, centimeter by centimeter, we continue and we opening the outer lips. Making sure that there is a lot of coconut oil on this area. Yes, yeah. so, yes, uh, of course, so, yeah, also not too much because then your uh, fingers will slide and then you cannot grab uh, anything. So then afterwards, uh, with you, preferably your left hand, um, you uh, spread, keep open and spread the uh, outer lips and you hold it uh, that uh, they stay open. And with uh, the right hand, you go up and down between the outer lips and the inner lips. So between this beautiful flower and uh, between the outer lips. So uh, these are so-called uh, Casanova strokes. Uh, that's what made him uh, so popular Lowell. Uh, I think, I think it can be true. <laughs> uh, at this moment, you massage the uh, underflesh parts of the clitoris. That's uh, why they are so nice, those strokes. And then uh, I, can, uh, I will guide you to massage them uh, with the variation the up and down, but zigzag. So, found different variation. Also, you can try with the knuckles. Yes. So, up and down with the knuckles. And then, uh, one more important thing about any strokes. Uh, uh, yes, uh, we are guiding. You polish your nails very good. And uh, you cut your nails. And the woman will taste it if it's good enough. And... Uh, Trust but me, if how... you do not have, if you have even the slightest little bit of raised skin and you're sliding your fingers on the clitoris. Oh, yes, so even if it's super polished, try to always uh, develop the habit to using uh, mainly the softer part of the finger. Yes, mm -hmm. to try to avoid the nailed part of the finger. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes. Um, after uh, the Casanova long strokes, we would go uh, into the 
uh, big Tour de France. So you massage the same area uh, around the inner lips, so around the flower with the serpent and clockwise. Yes, so you go and you massage it like this, you continue gently. And then um, when I guide you, we will do the same things with the inner lips now. But the inner lips are more sensitive, more gentle, and uh, uh, they are also smaller. So we use two fingers. Uh, be uh, aware that uh, to do it more gently. So at the beginning, we uh, will close the inner lips. So we squeeze them and we rotate. So the woman, if she feels something painful, uh, annoying, yes, uh, raise your palm. Yes, uh, give the guidance. If uh, some stroke are too annoying, yes, we didn't build up um, all this uh, excitement uh, and uh, um, nice, beautiful connection to lose it by some uh, one stroke. If you feel like, okay, to skip some of the strokes, it's all fine, you know, like uh, do something uh, from the previous strokes what she liked, it, yes? So, um, the woman um, communicate that clearly, you know, like, oh, this is uh, too much, I don't want it. So, so um, sometimes it may go into ecstatic, you know, you have to get used to the points, but yes, if it's uh, continued, then yes, um, just raise your palm. So you go uh, this time half centimeter up and you do the same thing. And then half centimeter up, half centimeter up till the level of the clitoris. And then you start from the bottom, you may continue. And then when I guide you, we're gonna, uh, after closing the yoni, we're gonna open the yoni again. Um, again, we grab uh, the uh, inner lips uh, with our pointing and thumb finger. Uh, and gently we circulate uh, and massage it and gently we opening. So yes, always be focused and yes, don't uh, tear it f too much apart, you know, like it's not about hurting someone. So do it uh, with um, gentleness and then you go half centimeter up, you continue half centimeter up, you continue till the level of clitoris. And then when the yonis are already, the um, inner lips are already open, then again with the two fingers, uh, uh, sometimes it's good, especially with the um, inner lips what are more fleshy and fl uh, f uh, slimy, um, you know, to press it harder uh, towards the bones uh, that, that uh, you can hold it, yes? Uh, if you cannot really hold it, yeah, just improvise, do it like uh, these strokes again, long Casanova strokes, this time on the, between the entrance and the, like on the inner lips, yes? So, uh, up and down, if there's enough space, I experiment with the zigzag experiment with the slalom yes up and down <coughs> so and then we will do a small tour de france you put the finger on our six uh, uh, you will know later why our six so and then you start circulate around the entrance you don't go in yes that's very important you don't go in we will go in into very very beautiful way uh, it will be yoni mapping uh, experience with itself. It's very beautiful technique. Uh, um, could be done by uh, especially long-term couples. Uh, so then um, we, um, when we finish, we would go to uh, exploring the 
clitoris yes so so um and we will explore the clitoris it's like hey uh, hello how are you and see you later basically <laughs> yes so we will explore and then but then all this exploration we're gonna use uh, uh, afterwards uh, during the uh, yoni massage uh, when we will go for the g-spot uh, where the healing may be needed where the uh, activation of the point it's needed and so on so um, yes uh, first <coughs> with two fingers you pull the hood, the flesh, uh, what is protecting the pearl from, uh, uh, yes, uh, feeling bad, uh, so uh, hard touch, whatever. So uh, you pull it down and uh, when it's uh, covered uh, by the hood, flesh, uh, you uh, gently squeeze the hood uh, and uh, you with your uh, circular movement of your fingers you gently massage this pearl and you can feel the pearl the size of the pea uh, you can feel under the flesh sometimes and she can feel ecstatic already you know so then afterwards uh, with one hand we pull the hood uh, up and with uh, pointing finger, the heart uh, chakra finger. So you do it with a lot of love. You start to uh, explore the different stroke. So remember at the beginning, be uh, super gentle um, and uh, feel the yoni and so. If the woman feel, some woman may feel, start to feel like a bit annoyed by the soft touch if they don't like it. So they can say, show like, okay, go harder. Yes, with the waving palm. So, or just guide the man, you know, like, so, so uh, the most uh, popular stroke is uh, side to side. Um, then the second popular stroke is the circle and some woman, uh, pay attention uh, they like the circle in one direction some woman doesn't matter so when uh, yes then then the um, the third popular stroke is up and down and when you do up and down it's also you may massage uh, especially with this stroke you may massage also the uh, o point what is between the urinary hole and the just under the clitoris so then um, another point uh, another uh, uh, variations so you explore one by one i guide you with all of them so diagonal another diagonal the horizontal zigzag uh, the, dia dia uh, the, the 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 vertical zigzag so um yes uh, play with all these uh, strokes and then yes the woman uh, choose the stroke maybe you already know like what is your preferable you can also yes i uh, um, sometimes just gently you can show the man how you do it like how you like it you can uh, uh, gu uh, guide his fingers also but uh, yes always do it uh, uh, you know, like uh, gently, not like, hey, you do it wrong. So it's so, it's so important, mm -hmm. women, to know your own anatomy too, what you like, what you don't like, because they can't be mind readers either. They, they can learn this. Yeah. And the that only takes you so far. You need to understand your own anatomy. So to be able to guide a man into lovemaking as well of what you like mm -hmm. actually excites them too. Because yes. then they can go, oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. The man really loves to know exactly how to serve the woman uh, in the best uh, <laughs> possible way. Yes. And uh, <laughs> uh, the woman, not me, uh, it's the best teacher of her individual body. Yes. Mm -hmm. So each woman have their own preferences and you are the best teacher of your individual body. So, um, yes, uh, um, guide the man if you need to guide, yes, but in very nice way, Gentle. because, uh, yes, it's vulnerable uh, situation, not only for you, 
uh, very often for the men too. So uh, it's like uh, uh, he would really like to learn, but uh, yes. Uh, so saying, I love when you do this. Oh, do you know what excites me? I love this. Yes, appreciation. It's yeah. not like, I love, hey, not, you know. don't do this, don't do that. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love mm -hmm. that. So, uh, and yes, sometimes the signs uh, like rising up the palm, it's um, uh, uh, like gives you the power of not to use the tone. Like, hey, mm -hmm. when you say, oh, uh, slow down, uh, like, oh, you do it softer, you know, like sometimes the tone, how you say it, it can already break some of the energy of the connection. The man can feel like, oh, uh, like, you know, they do best and then they got uh, some complaints it's like a man's ego you know like then we don't want to go into these processes we want to go into the process of uh, yeah. uh, yes of the union keeping keep the, the energy there yes yes that energy so uh, yeah. yes um, um, yes so so, so uh, remember the connection is the most important not the technique not the you know perfection but connection yes mm. and uh, Yes, uh, appreciations, like uh, guiding by, hey, uh, you know, like, I love this, uh, you know. Yeah, mm. so, uh, yes, um, after uh, exploring the uh, clitoris, uh, and we will say, uh, yes, uh, see you later, and then uh, we will go into the yoni mapping. Yoni mapping is technique by itself. Uh, uh, it can be used, especially by the long-term uh, couples. Uh, you have time uh, to heal all the spots and it gives you the opportunity to heal them in very gentle way w without maybe uh, this uh, explosive uh, release of the emotions but just by massaging a little bit uh, you know like uh, this day and then another day very little bit softly uh, not uh, going into the focus on the point what needs to be healing well uh, even self-exploration yes even better mm -hmm. you're making love to yourself so you get to understand every part of your anatomy every part yes uh, so you can show up with a partner yes uh, it's have different uh, aspect uh, it's uh, not always better or, uh, yeah. have pluses of minuses of yeah, everything yeah, yeah. so yes so the uh, must uh, the the uh, the yoni mapping uh, is about very slow exploration of the yoni mm. so uh, very slow uh, going in and exploring the first ring of the yoni then the second ring of the yoni like so so we have like the entrance ring when uh, uh, it's uh, before you enter then you have like the first ring then the second ring, uh, then the could be the third ring, it, and it's uh, already the last one, and then um, the uh, fourth one, uh, or fourth one, the last one, yes? So it depends how big uh, you make the rings. Uh, don't worry if you make it a little bit bigger, and uh, uh, so I would just, uh, so hope. So let's say like this. So the fair, uh, the the zero ring like on the entrance, yes. So um, then um, we go further, uh, a bit uh, deeper, and then we go again uh, one knuckle deeper, two three centimeters deeper, and then again two three centimeters deeper, and then um, uh, probably fourth ring would be the last one, and. Um, after the last one, we will massage the uh, end point, uh, the cervix itself. Uh, and uh, so that would be the yoni mapping. And how we do it, it's um, like, uh, imagine uh, that uh, this is uh, the uh, clock. Yes, so here is the hour six, here is the hour nine, here is hour 12, and here is hour three. And um, we will uh, swing around these hours 
for few minutes on each hour uh, and uh, in the way we complete one ring and then slowly we would go deeper uh, into the next ring and into the next ring and we will do the same yes so um, yes uh, we will start with uh, all the always uh, holding the finger uh, on our six and then we start swinging uh, around uh, our six so from uh, two uh, from uh, five till uh, eight yes F from four till eight so um, on the entrance yes so the same area what we massage during the uh, small tour de france we're gonna massage now so we don't go in yet and then we swing around our nine so from seven till eleven and then we go further around our twelve Yes, from uh, 10 till 2, and then when I guide you fr around our 3, so from 1 till 5. And then when we finish the first zero ring, yes, uh, before the on the entrance, not entering yet, we place the, pa uh, the finger on our 6, and then it's the most essential moment of this massage is a test for the man are you healer are you here to uh, listen the yoni or uh, you are ego tripper and you want to go uh, again push Either your finger in <laughs> so so it's uh, this is the moment uh, very important yes so uh, i have group so I will have to guide with the instructions, yes, uh, but you have to, especially in this moment, listen Yoni than beyond my instructions, yes? Her Yoni is the one who decides if you she's ready and you uh, should go in, yeah. yes? And you, and you can also ask, which is absolutely beautiful, um, when a man asks, may I enter? It is the most amazing words a woman can heal, hear, yeah? Mm -hmm. Can I enter? Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, you say yes or no. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, also listen the yoni because she, the woman may say, okay, yes, I want this uh, yoni massage to happen. The mind can say yes, yeah, yes, yeah. or uh, she may be just unaware uh, about uh, that the yoni may be not ready. So you only the, uh, like enter when you feel that the finger is easily going in, that she's wet and it's sliding without uh, any resistance mm -hmm. it's going nicely in and then you when you go in when she allows you then you uh, start the ring uh, at you go only for the first knuckle so two three centimeters yes and then you start to slide again on the hour six and then we continue with the clock but if she is still uh, not ready then you just continue on the zero ring and uh, at this moment before uh, like on the yoni mapping we don't use uh, through all the yoni mapping we don't use the clitoral stimulation but if the woman it's not open that's you start uh, uh, after the first time doing the zero ring you realize okay she's not yet open then we start to use the clitoral stimulation to excite her to arouse her to open her up yes so um, we use uh, whatever stroke uh, is nice for her mm -hmm. and we do the same uh, uh, swinging but again outside so we repeat the zero ring yes and believe me really if you would have to uh, through this session uh, just stay outside and repeat uh, zero ring after the zero ring uh, while maybe everyone would uh, go in and maybe uh, you will just stay outside and for her uh, uh, 
it would be uh, rebuilding the trust experience and maybe for the next session she will open up easily and so uh, and it will be much better experience than you will force yourself in so so yes always uh, remember this thank you Tom. yes thank take you your Tom. time yes so listen the yoni beyond my instructions mm. so Yes, uh, if uh, like, however, you, if you repeat the zero ring, usually when you start to use the clitoris uh, after the one ring, she will open most probably. Uh, very often after all this massage, she's already excited and open. So, so, so that's most of the case that you could uh, really easily slide in. But if she needs some time, give her enough time and whatever time she needs. This is the most crucial mm -hmm. and important. So. Yes, however, yes, uh, if she opens, you, you go on the um, first string and again, you swing around our six, then around our nine, around our twelve, around our three. And uh, yes, you are on this uh, uh, first string, yes. And then you continue, like yes, when we finish, uh, we uh, always stop at the hour six. And then when you are already insta inside, then uh, you may ask the woman that uh, she may pull you uh, in with her PC muscle. So give her a little bit of time to let her translate this into the body, how to do it and so. And um, just wait a bit uh, if it happened. Um, so if it happened, um, don't slide yourself, don't allow your, your finger fully in, but just to another two, three centimeters, yes? Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, if it happened, this is the most beautiful invitation from the Yoni to come in. Uh, that's you sure that she uh, inviting you. It's uh, her uh, self, her Yoni, mm -hmm. it's like uh, ready and in, uh, pulling you in. So, that's uh, beautiful. Uh, but however, the woman may be, uh, do not have uh, strong uh, enough PC muscles yet, uh, uh, or maybe she just cannot uh, really uh, figure out how to do it. If uh, she feel uh, open and ready, you may slide these two fingers, uh, two, two centimeters uh, further to the next knuckle probably. So we, yes, we would be at the second ring and going uh, at the second ring. You may already uh, uh, feel at the hour twelve, uh, around hour twelve, uh, the G spot area. So so yes, again we continue like this. We keep swinging and so so we continue ring by ring like this, and uh, then. Um, um, yes, uh, for some of you it would be three rings, uh, for some of you maybe four rings, for some of you you will have to uh, wait, uh, with, uh, do with the clitoris and so, uh, so, so that's all good, uh, we will um, kind of uh, give you a little bit of time. Um, after the fourth ring, uh, for those who already uh, finished the last ring, or the, the, yes, uh, after the last ring, uh, we go into massaging the end point, so the cervix basically. So you will find uh, 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 maybe probably uh, at the last ring you will see feel that you actually making the circle around uh, this uh, part what is sticking uh, back towards the, the entrance. And uh, yes, you find on this uh, part uh, this ring. Uh, and then, uh, yes, you start massaging just uh, for this reason. We massage just uh, softly, circulate around this ring, yes? Mm -hmm. And then when um, you finish your yoni mapping, uh, you, uh, I uh, suggest that we all go for the G-spot stimulation and we will go into the G-spot uh, healing and uh, or activating. Um, so, um, uh, yes, uh, after the yoni mapping, we start to massage the clitoris uh, again. So, uh, yes, we uh, and we do it basically 
kind of all the time to keep her on high arousal. And only like when the woman rise the palm, uh, hey, uh, slow down, uh, because uh, uh, if you continue, then um, uh, yes, she will lose the energy through the peak orgasm. So um, yes, when she rise the palm, um, you will see this is the rising the palm to slow down for the reason of excitement because she would be in full ecstasy her body would be like enjoying it uh, moving uh, her hips probably and she would be maybe ah, oh, sounding uh, with the sounds of pleasure um, so the, this is uh, like yes from the excitement reasons if uh, f uh, she would feel some uh, triggers like um, Pain, physical pain or the emotional release uh, too much uh, then you will see that she's in the process she is like uh, maybe uh, in some emotions so you will see like hey okay this is not the case and in that case when she's going through the healing uh, like and so you keep stimulating the clitoris yes yeah? so uh, uh, yes you um, slow down with the stimulating of the G-spot, but mm -hmm. you keep stimulating the clitoris. So mm -hmm. for different reasons, we s slow down with the stimulating of different points, yes? And if she's processing too, making sure that you're completely present too, I mean, being present to hold space for her as mm -hmm. she's releasing, as she's crying, don't stop the yoni massage. Keep going, but be more loving, more gentle, hold the space, yeah? And yeah. yes, if she starts to cry out, processing, uh, but she doesn't raise the palm, keep triggering this point. Keep, uh, we go for triggers. We yeah. don't want to run away from the triggers. We don't want to put the things under the carpet. We uh, keep the same stimulation. So don't be scared that she starts to cry out uh, in some moment. Keep st stimulating the same points. And so that helps her to release, release. everything. And yeah. the woman, in the same way, how you, uh, how the man should not push his finger uh, and uh, traumatize you again, you, with your mind, should not push the yoni for that healing to happen. Yeah. So yeah. whenever you feel something, uh, uh, it's too far painful uh, or too emotional, uh, you don't want to go there. Yes, be gentle on yourself. We learn how to do this, um, uh, and uh, yes, you have all life to, uh, now you got the awareness, you got the uh, awareness that it can be done, but uh, yes, you don't have to, uh, ev not everything has to be done at this session, yes? So um, it's rebuilding the trust towards the man, but also rebuilding the trust towards, uh, from the, uh, like, yoni, towards the mind, your mind, Yes, what sometimes took the des wrong decisions, yes, uh, in your life. And this is uh, like the chance also to rebuild that. And it, it, if, if you keep going and pushing your healing, you know this. When we push ourselves too much, we fuck our nervous systems and we re-traumatize ourselves, yeah? So we, we almost put a more fear into it, but we don't want to go there. We, we are like, well... Hmm. Oh, it's it's traumatic. We want we want to heal. We wanna we want to yeah yeah. So yes, um, whenever uh, she raised the palm for the excitement reason, yes. So uh, we uh, stop with the clitoral stimulation, and uh, sometimes. We also um, have to stop with the G-spot stimulation at the beginning, especially to to um, recognize, to get to know her body. Uh, it's like um, you know uh, when uh, you stroke upward, you basically spread the energy from the genitals towards the body, towards the head, wherever you spread it, yes? But the touch itself is very exciting. So sometimes when you are on the edge, uh, this uh, uh, touch, even if it's in a good direction, can be the thing what will push uh, her or him from the edge, yes? 
So the same thing with the G-spot. When you massage G-spot itself, uh, you, uh, in general, you take energy uh, from the uh, clitoral stimulation, from this peak orgasm to the G-spot orgasm, to the G-spot healing, whatever. But stimulating of the G-spot, it can be still uh, too exciting for the uh, clitoris that it also can push the uh, person out of the edge. Yes, uh, it's also like when you stimulate the G-spot, it's close to the uh, clitoris, the vibration goes and they can push. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, explore it, uh, feel it. Uh, so s sometimes you slow down with the G-spot stimulation. And then, uh, yes, uh, uh, the woman may do like she should do, like you can do with her to support her, the, uh, or you can tell her, okay, briefly uh, do this, like uh, now the use it, don't lose it method, yes, so you breathe in, tighten your piece of muscle, uh, and uh, bring the energy to the heart, then breathe out, relax your PC muscle, and uh, bring energy back to the genitals. And you do it a few circles of this, and the woman can feel like, okay, now I'm ready, so you g give the sign, go further, uh, yes, uh, and then, uh, yes, you continue again with the... Uh, uh, clitoral stimulation when you explore it a bit and so you could see like okay if you continue the g-spot stimulation when she rise the palm uh, then it's still okay that's fine you know but slowly discover it and uh, when the woman uh, rise the palm in the excitement very high yes that means uh, stop immediately she's already on the edge or very close to the edge yes then uh, it's more uh, advisable that uh, you slow down also with the G-spot stimulation. So that's, that's for the reason of the uh, rising the palm when she's very excited. Uh, I'm hitting my face. Yeah, <laughs> okay. sorry, sorry. So uh, yes, uh, that's, that's the reason um, uh, for this. If she's rising the palm when she's going through some processes, what her face will express and maybe the excitement uh, would be there, but uh, yes, sh you will feel, okay, this is uh, uh, really like she's going through something, yes? Mm -hmm. So when uh, she rises the palm, uh, uh, so, uh, like uh, uh, not so high, it means slow down. Uh, so you slow down. You slow down the stimulation and you uh, also make it softer, yes? Normally you do it pretty hard and uh, fire it uh, twice uh, per second strokes. But when she uh, rise the slow down, you do it softer and you uh, do it, uh, uh, yes, slower. Um, it's, it's so important also too when you're doing these massages is to look at your goddess's face. Yeah, to to be able to to see too, and she will be able to her face expressions, her energy will be able to um, tell you, you know, as as um, when she's getting too stimulated, her breath, the sound of her breath when she's, <laughs> you know, it, it's so important. Mm. So then, um, um, yes, if she does palm uh, higher, or maybe she's. Uh, uh, after you slow down, um, she again rise the palm uh, again. That means, uh, okay, um, stop stimulating, but stay uh, pressing gently on her spot. Yes? And uh, uh, yes, uh, the woman, whenever you have to slow down, with the, you go through the processes, you breathe into the, if it's physical pain, you breathe into the pain and uh, you breathe uh, like slow, deep, uh, and uh, um, you focus on ecstasy. So that's why we have to create as much as uh, possible this uh, ecstasy with the clitoris. So, so you focus on, uh, on the ecstasy and this may help you to go through that pain, yes? So, and then you can feel like, okay, I'm ready to continue, like to, so, so, um, yes, uh, so, um, 
uh, when she raised the palm uh, higher, it means a kind of stop immediately. That means you go two steps ahead. So uh, you, when you was doing fast, then you just hold the. If this could be too much, yes, then you stop stimulating the point and go maybe to other points uh, what are more ecstatic in her yoni inside and stimulate the clitoris and then she can guide you uh, in some moment okay go back uh, to the uh, g spot and then you can continue yes but uh, yes uh, the woman you are in full control of this process yes and it's very important that you communicate to your partner the best possible way to not to push yourself and uh, to rebuild the trust, not to lose the trust. A woman's, you know, sexual liberty is about her being able to speak from her yoni, her womb, being able to speak what she wants, what she doesn't want. Yeah, it's it it, and this is this yoni massage. This is what it's all about: is is giving power back to our sacredness. You know. So, yes, healing is happening when um, you may already feel something uh, um, in the G-spot. You may already feel ecstasy, yes? You, maybe you, you have to go through this physical pain. This triggers very often the emotional pain. Uh, and uh, then after release uh, of the emotional pain, the pain, uh, physical pain, it also is gone. Sometimes it needs uh, not just one emotional release, uh, not one female ejaculation, but a uh, uh, few times. But uh, uh, like especially the first one is the most heavy shit you get rid of, so you will feel a strong release. And basically what is happening um maybe it would be after one release it it would be already everything gone you know like um so what is happening uh in the place of pain of this emotion what is frozen then and it has to be released uh, you create more and more ecstasy and uh, you know you transforming this physical pain or emotional pain or both uh, or one after another into more and more ecstasy so you may start to feel already in the this g spot uh, already even you feel uh, pain you can st uh, start to feel some ecstasy focus on that ecstasy it will help you to go through that pain yes uh, when you, you the physical pain usually when you uh, need healing of the g spot usually it's feeling like burning sensation it's like irritation like mm, you know like it uh, pulls you off you know like so yes um uh, use the clitoral stimulation guide the man to like yes in that case and yes uh, allow yourself to go through it as much as it feels good yes so yes uh, um this is uh, more or less it yes and um, then yes uh, also um uh, do uh, during the uh, massage of the G spot, I will guide you in some point. Uh, okay, go for the uh, um, uh, the uh, female ejaculation. There is one trick, uh, very nice one, uh, to uh, make it happen. Um, so one, yeah, you massage. I love, I love how all the men's ears prick up. <laughs> you you massage the um, the uh, uh, O point, uh, so it's just uh, below the clitoris. So you can massage with uh, one hand uh, with your finger, uh, like uh, with your thumb, uh, while you massage the G spot. By the way, the G spot uh, you can massage with one finger. But after a while, very often the woman is already so aroused and so open that uh, you can put two fingers in. When you put two fingers in, you do it slowly, maybe not so slowly as we did during the yoni mapping, but like uh, always when you move your fingers out after the yoni massage or uh, whenever, you pull it very slowly out your finger, what is already in, and then you put uh, like when it's almost out then you are able to put another finger in mm -hmm. and then you, when you put it another finger in do it very very slowly yes uh, 
and uh, yes, stimulate the clitoris to make it easier for her and so. And uh, yes, and then very slowly. And when you have like two fingers in, uh, you can do the gallop uh, like uh, movement, uh, upside down gallop. Uh, so it's come, come, but with two fingers alternating each other. And when she's fully aroused too, you can press a little bit harder. When, when she's really going into orgasmic states, the, the more harder you press, not too hard, but, but hard enough, the more um, you will be able to stimulate the skein gland as well and stimulate that area. Um, and for the woman, when she feels like she's about to pee, if you're stimulating the clitoris and stimulating that G-spot, doing those motions and stimulating the, the clitoris at the same time and pressing a little bit harder and you'll hear her going, ah, oh, ah, oh, and press a bit harder and harder. She, she feels like she's going to pee. Women, you feel like you're going to pee. Push, push down as if you're giving birth or push on that energy and it will release the ejaculation. So you, you really push and it, you will squirt. Not like pornographic squirt, um, you know, on porno movies where it shoots across the, the, <laughs> the room. That, that's um, only, only if you can do that, you know. Squirting it's okay. Can be just, yeah. and, and that is totally okay yeah, yeah. too. Um, but every woman's different. So don't think that you have to do that because it's not true. But... Um, yeah, so you push down, push, 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 and you and you'll 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 actually feel a, a slight sensation of release. It won't be a complete orgasm. Sometimes it can, sometimes it it doesn't have to be, but you'll feel a release, and and that will be your gushing goddess. Yeah. So yeah. the uh, ejaculation can variety from uh, the amount uh, uh, by uh, few drops or uh, even uh, two cups uh, fully like uh, mm. and uh, uh, yes um, it's all good it's all beautiful and uh, yes so uh, you can um, uh, in uh, uh, you can uh, make it uh, happen by um, when uh, you feel uh, on high arousal with the G spot, with uh, the um, stimulating the U point, uh, uh, sometimes uh, very often when you stimulate the clitoris, you stimulate mm -hmm. the U point uh, because they are very close. So, so um, when you feel it, you may tight your PC muscle with on your breath in. And then you push with your uh, G uh, with your PC muscle your G spot uh, out as uh, you would like to push it out, and it's also like uh, sometimes like pushing out the P. So so you do on the breath uh, breathing, uh, tightening your PC muscle, and with the tightening the PC muscle you push your G spot out. So, so that's the thing to uh, put uh, more energy into it. And it's very good uh, if it happens, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, uh, I will guide you during the massage uh, to um, experiment with this. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yes, um, that's uh, about the... Yes, there are some nuances, yes, what I would like to say. So men, like when you give the yoni massage, so yes, it's uh, uh, beautiful, beautiful, uh, but it's a physical job. 20, 30 minutes uh, of uh, massaging uh, uh, on the high, uh, keeping her on the high arousal and uh, activating this point. Um, so make yourself comfortable. Put your uh, um, hand, maybe support it uh, on your body, that you don't do it like this, because in that way uh, you will get uh, tired very quickly. But if you have it in the relaxed way, your hand, and uh, uh, you uh, do, yes, you always uh, remember about your optimal comfortable position. If you start to feel any pain in your back, 
change the position more frequently that uh, you don't gonna give this tension to the woman, mm -hmm. pass this tension to the woman. So take care for your position. Uh, the other thing what may happen, uh, um, it's a small nuance, but it may happen. Uh, so uh, uh, yes, this is traumatizing pain. Um, we go for the releasing pain. So it uh, should be uh, less and less. Uh, so, um, it may happen uh, that uh, during this practice, uh, the woman, for some reason, maybe whatever reason it could be, uh, she may lost uh, the excitement. Sometimes the excitement, you know, like uh, men also may experience it. Sometimes it may, someone wrong, ring to the, uh, the door and uh, the, exci uh, the excitement, you are uh, back in the head and... Uh, uh, the excitement is gone. So it may happen uh, that the, for any reason, woman may start to feel uh, less excited during the massage. She was very excited before, but then when she lose this excitement, she stopped lubricating. And yes, even we did this uh, full uh, um, yoni mapping and uh, build up the uh, uh, this excitement and uh, so uh, so when she feels uh, stop lubricating <coughs> um, yes uh, you start rubbing like this you know on her body and if I keep rubbing uh, for uh, 10 minutes I will have burn hair yes so that would be the traumatizing pain mm -hmm. so if you it happened to you that you stop exciting and the man is still uh, uh, going on. Uh, yes, just uh, guide him to uh, st keep you uh, stimulating with the clitoris, build up back the excitement and then uh, continue. Because uh, again, we don't want to um, cause the pain, we want to release the pain, yes? So be aware about this. Uh, yes. Um, so I, this is yeah, this is a magical tool that you can use, and and for women to be liberated sexually, um, self exploration for partners, for everything, for men to understand. Yeah, it's so important. It's not taught. It's not taught in um, when we're younger. And it's so important to connect, and it's not just a tool to pick up either. It's it's a tool to be able to understand women, understand the goddess. Yeah, that we're we're not just um, yeah hitted and and quitted. It's like there's there's such beauty in um, this practice in in her body, in her yoni, in her womb. Yeah, so. The woman uh, who experienced the G-spot uh, healing uh, um, and uh, then orgasms, uh, they say very often that this is like being newborn. Uh, that's it's the biggest liberation um, step um, into the high life uh, on so many levels, uh, not only on the sexual level, not only on the relationship level, but... Uh, on many many levels it's uh, you heal your sexuality it's uh, you heal uh, everything in yourself i'd have to say as a woman um g-spot amazing but the cervix <laughs> amen amen yeah. the cervix the cervix the cervix so cervix. yes um, <laughs> mm -hmm. so yes um i feel uh, we We'll um, wrap it up uh, so we can 